Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I have an alert that needs to go out for Japan this evening. Um, there's been a few smoke events uh, at Reactor 3 today, and the most recent video that's been posted uh, shows that it appears to be quite severe. I'm going to put some links to uh, radiation monitoring stations in Japan and uh, show you the wind direction and jet stream for the next few days. This is the uh, MEX data and if you use this um, be advised and this was pointed out by one of the rad chicks today on my page that there are quite a few boxes on the uh, left side of this website that you need to check off if you want to get the full picture of the radiation readings and I'm not going to reload this page because my computer doesn't seem to be able to handle it um, but I will put a link to this below now this is a, a picture from today an aerial photograph and it's a little bit uh, difficult to decipher um, this is reactor 2 okay the ocean is over here this is the berm and then there is some uh, forest area and then the TBS JNN cam is up on a hill and you're going to see a video from that in a moment but what I want to draw your attention to here's reactor 3 and then this is the top of reactor 4 this area right here uh, there appears to be some smoke that is coming out of it and when they had a, um, a journalist tour a few days ago and they passed by this area in a truck, um, the windows all steamed up in the truck and one of the people that was recording was quite sick and he, um, he reported some extremely high readings that uh, came out of this visit, especially when they drove by this area. But this is a video that was posted a little while ago. This does not appear to be steam. There has not been any release of information from TEPCO about what exactly is going on here. And this was just from uh, about four or five hours ago. So I will um, post a link to this video if you want to watch it in its entirety. And the next thing I wanted to do is check the wind reports for tomorrow. And it appears that um, low level wind is going to be going straight to Tokyo. We go to another wind finder map. Uh, it confirms uh, this is near Tokyo Airport. And there are several um, flags that you can click on for the surrounding areas. And it appears that uh, the prevailing winds will be mostly um, south to southwest for tomorrow. There, um, This is the forecast. And so this is what uh, they are expecting to happen. Anyone between this area and the Fukushima plant um, should be strongly cautioned to staying indoors. Here's Fukushima. Here's Tokyo. And then how is this going to affect the U.S.? Well, this is going to be over the next three days. It appears that um, the biggest concern is going to be from the southern coast of Alaska and we'll have to 
uh, corroborate that with uh, rainfall forecasts down through um, Washington and Oregon. And there may be a branching off of this towards Hawaii. I don't know, we're going to have to uh, take a closer look at it. I'm also going to include a link. And this is something that I think people who live in the Pacific Northwest need to really get used to doing is um, checking the jet stream and the water vapor maps uh, on a daily basis until we get forecasters on board to be including this kind of data in their weather forecasts. But this is what's going on right now in Alaska and this map is going to be really valuable over the next few days. Not knowing what is being released from that steam event, I would assume the worst. And um, anyone who, uh, if you have any friends in Japan, make sure that you get this video to them so that they're aware of it too. And I'll keep you up to date if I find out any additional information.